Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. Let's do a little Creole cooking today. We're going to do a dish that was very, very popular many years ago in New Orleans, and that is pasta with oysters. A wonderful pasta. In our case, we're going to use angel hair pasta, a very fine pasta, and make a sauce with oysters, a little cream, and some other seasonings, and put that on our angel food, our angel food, our angel hair pasta. Uh, it's very delicious, and it's, it's really an old classic in the Creole line. Along with that, we're going to take some leeks and braise those in a little olive oil and make a wonderful tomato garnish with that. And we'll round out our meal with a little bit of fresh fruit in a compote with red uh, vermouth uh, wine, a nice sweet flavoring to really bring out the flavors in the, uh, in the fruit. So that's our menu for today. And for those of you that are interested, the recipes are on pages 146 and 147 of volume five of Gourmet Cooking. So let's start with our pasta. We have the very finest pasta that I know of, and it's called Angel Hair. And it's uh, just delightful. Now it's gonna cook up and just be great with the sauce. Let's take that over to a pot of boiling water and immediately place our pasta in the water. And you know, we drop it in, sort of rain it in so that each of the pieces of the pasta fall into the water individually. It helps to keep it from sticking together. So we'll get our pasta in and then give it a good twirl. And as the lower part softens, it will allow the upper part to get into the water. So that's one pound of the angel hair pasta. So taking our pasta now, we turn that heat up a little high so it'll come back to boil rather quickly. Once we get all the pasta in the water, we want to stir it again. This is to keep it from sticking together, making sure that each and every piece of the pasta is wet and uh, will, well, therefore it will not stick together. Now, this water was salted. You could salt or not according to your own desire, but uh, we've put a little bit of salt in this water. We're gonna partially cover this and uh, bring that back to the boil quickly and then come back and drain that. Now, we need to get our leeks going because that takes a few minutes. And they're interesting in that many people see them and aren't too terribly familiar with them. It's a shame because it's a wonderful French onion, really, is all it is. But it's a mild onion. Now, I've saved two to illustrate the cutting. We're simply going to cut that root end off and take this outer leaf off. Then we want to cut away the green portions of the leaves, the darkest green portions. And as you go in, you can come up a little higher because some of that light green is very tender. All right, we have one more, let's do it. Cutting that root end off, taking the outer layer of this off and cutting the top portions. Now, I think you'll notice right away that they are very, very dirty. You can see the dirt. The only way to get that clean then is to cut that in half in one direction and then turn it a quarter turn and cut it so that you've quartered it. And what you've done now is expose the inside and you can see the dirt. So that has to be washed. <coughs> and the only way to do that is either under running water or here in a bowl. I have water and I can open those leaves up and make sure that that water has, um, that all the dirt has come out of that. I had another one here, but I seem to have misplaced it, but that's all right, here it is. I threw it away. Let's do that one. We want now to, again, cut down the halfway, turn it a quarter turn, and cut it into fourths so that the leaves are all exposed. We get them down into water.
Now, were I going to chop these and use these in a dish as a chopped leek, I would simply chop those and wash those afterwards in uh, uh, a colander. But here we want to try and keep the leeks whole. Now, I already have some water, uh, olive oil cooking on the stove. And uh, not cooking, but heated. I'm going to turn it higher. I have six tables of olive oil in this skillet. I want now to start the leeks by placing them in the oil. So we'll put them into our oil and <clears throat> turning the heat up a little bit. Let's get all of our leeks into this dish. We can turn them in opposite directions if necessary. Now we're going to turn these from time to time for about uh, five minutes is all it's going to take. And this is going to be covered. So let's cover it and give it about five minutes and we'll turn it over once in a while in, the, in that five minute period. So putting that aside, we no longer need that. Let's get started on our sauce for <coughs> the oysters. And that starts out with some very beautiful oysters, some nice fresh oysters. Now I've segregated one cup of the oysters because we're going to use those in a little different manner. The other part, this was one quart, four cups of oysters. We want now to put those into a skillet with their liquid. We want to poach those. Now poaching them means bringing them to heat. And when they start, the edges start to get lacy and so forth, that's when they are poached and we will take them out and use the sauce, uh, the liquids, for a basis for our sauce. So that starts the oysters. They have to come up to heat. Will not take long. Our pasta is turning. Let's turn that over and make sure that that pasta is all free and not sticking together. Stir well. Now, this is not going to take long. As thin as that is, it cooks rather quickly. So I'm going to give that a little bit longer, and we'll test it. Looks like it needs a minute or two longer. All right. In a skillet here, we have started, again, this is part of the oyster uh, sauce. We have four slices of bacon that we cut into small pieces, and we have fried those and retained two tablespoons of the drippings. Now we're going to bring that up to heat and get the vegetables we need ready and that's going to be six to eight green onions and we've already chopped most of them or sliced them. So we have now these two that will give us the eight we need. We'll add that to the bowl. We have one large onion, and we want then to take the half that I have not cut and cut it into fairly small dice. There we go, because that's going to cook with the bacon drippings. And when they become nice and transparent, we will add some other ingredients to this. So let's put the onions into our skillet with the bacon, and we can add our green onions. We're also going to need two cloves of garlic. So I have one already peeled, and I saved one to peel. We cut the root end off, taking a knife or some other instrument, we give it a good whack, and that removes the skin. In this case, it actually crushed it a little bit. But that's all right, because that's where we're going with this. We want to crush the garlic, so crush and then a little more chop. We can then add the garlic, a little piece we missed there. 
and add the garlic to our onions and the bacon and the bacon drippings. So now we have our aromatic vegetables with the bacon cooking away and we're going then to add several things before it's over with and that's going to be some basil for flavor and uh, some parsley. So let's chop the parsley and have it ready. All right, nice fresh parsley, very fragrant, very colorful. It will add its dimension to this dish. So we have about a third of a cup of fresh parsley. We'll have that with the basil. Now in the meantime, we want to take <coughs> the one cup of oysters that we had held aside and we want to chop those. And they will go into our sauce as chopped. And let's stop a moment and look at our poached oysters. I'm going to turn those around because the heat seems to be centered. But you can see, if you look closely, these oysters, the edges are curling. So that means that they are just about poached. Now we're going to shortly remove those oysters. And in fact, now would be a good time. Except that I think maybe our pasta is ready to drain and the only way to know that is to try and get a piece or two to the chopping board. It's very thin and it's hard to control. So let's see if we can cool that down long enough. Let me taste it. And it's cooked. So that's enough. We don't need to cook that any longer. Let's take that to our sink and drain the pasta in a colander that I have here. Then taking the pot, I'm going to put three tablespoons of butter and let the residual heat of that pot melt that butter. And then right on top of that, we're going to put our angel hair pasta. There's a little bit of water, that's all right. That will help tremendously in, in keeping the pasta from sticking together. We want to mix it up with the butter and we'll put that aside until we're ready to serve it. Now let's go to our leeks. They're here. We can then take our leeks, which have, they've cooked just nicely. We'll put those onto a serving platter. And add to this some tomatoes, which we have already peeled and seeded. Now there's a little olive oil in there. We're going to take the tomatoes. Let's stop a minute here. We have our aromatic vegetables for our sauce. They're going to burn if I don't put something in there. And that's a little white wine. We're gonna turn the heat down for a moment. And then going to our tomatoes, let's move the oysters for a moment. We're running out of space here. Let's take the tomatoes that I have already peeled and seeded. We'll chop these in any fashion. We're gonna put those now into our pan 
in, with, in which we cook the There we are. We have our tomatoes. That was six tomatoes. Let's put that into our skillet with the olive oil. We'll turn that over. This now needs the, let's stop this cooking a moment while we go to the zest of a lemon. And we've already taken some of it off. And we want the juice of a lemon. So cutting that lemon after we've taken the zest, we want to squeeze that. And we'll add that along with salt and pepper to our tomatoes. Salt and pepper. And we're going to cover that and let those tomatoes cook down. But now let's blend in the lemon juice, the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, and the lemon zest. So, all right, let's let that go. Come back to our vegetables. And now we want to remove these oysters, which have poached well. And we want to reduce the sauce in which the, the juices in which they have cooked. So we'll let that boil. So removing the oysters that are poached, let's reduce this liquid and to our vegetables We'll add the basil, the parsley. We added the white wine already. And now we can add 3 quarters cup of cream. And we'll start that cooking. And in a few moments, we will be able to add the other liquid. Now, let's go back to our oysters, which we're chopping. Clear this board a little bit. All right. And they're chopped enough. They can now go into the mixture with the cream. Putting this aside. We're going to let this just keep warm while we drop the we reduce the volume of our juice from the oysters a little bit more so now we have those things let's go quickly to a dessert and that's going to be very simple a nice big mixing bowl we have strawberries very sweet ones today we're going to cut the strawberries in half, or a lot smaller if you like, and I already have many of them done. We have green grapes. Now, the quantity and the specific fruit is up to you. It's your pleasure. Season is going to dictate a lot of that. Some red grapes. I have some apple. We have a half of an apple yet to be peeled. All right, peeling that quickly, taking the bruised spots off, taking the core. We can then cut that right into the mixture, and then we'll add that which I've already cut. Again, remember, the season is going to determine. There are a lot of other vegetables that one could add. And we're going to add some orange, 
segments and their juice. And I had a few currants, which I have softened in the vermouth. All right, we'll put those in. We need banana. All right, one more banana. Now this also requires some whipped cream, which will be mixed in, but we'll do that while you're watching the recipes. But right now, let's assemble all the other dishes, and I will then, while you're watching the recipes, add, uh, do the whipped cream, because I uh, just ran out of time for that. And of course, sweet vermouth. We want that to blend together. So there we are, our fruits, our big bowl of fresh fruit, nothing nicer, will be marinated in the sweet vermouth. And then we're going to whip a cup of cream and blend that in. But I'll do that, as I say, just before we go to the dining room. So there is our dessert. Let's come now to our oyster mixture. Let's add the oyster liquid to the cream and all the other wonderful things we have here. Let's put our whole oysters into the dish, turning some heat off. Let's serve our pasta. First of all, taking a large bowl, let's place our pasta, which is, has been resting in that bowl with the butter to keep it from sticking together, and it has. And over this now, we want to pour our oyster mixture the oysters, the oyster liquid, the onions, the bacon, and all the other seasoning. As I say, this was a very popular dish in many years ago in New Orleans, and still is at my home. Let's take our leeks. And spread those out. Arrange them, they're still quite warm. Not totally hot, but quite warm. And taking our tomatoes, let's bring those over to the center, take the lid off. And we have the tomatoes, the lemon juice, salt and pepper, and some lemon zest. So let's put that now down this edge of the dish just barely covering the ends of the leeks. So there we have our leeks provincial or provencal, our oysters in a spaghetti dish with a wonderful sauce, and our mixture of fresh fruit marinated with vermouth, the sweet vermouth. We're gonna add whipped cream to that and we'll bring that into the dining room. In the meantime, we'd like to show you the recipes.
Well, our Creole meal is ready. It's on the table. And we have an unusual dish, but it's delicious. Oyster lovers, you'll go crazy for it. Oysters cooked with a wonderful sauce of cream and bacon and onions and uh, basil and parsley over a bed of angel hair pasta. Absolutely divine. Along with that, some leeks with stewed or smothered tomatoes. And we've garnished that with a few black olives. So that is our leeks Provençal. And our salad, I finished that while you were looking at the recipes by blending in a cup of whipped cream to mix with that vermouth and blend it all together with the fruit. And then we sprinkled a little bit of nutmeg on top. So we're gonna really enjoy this. It's colorful, it's, gonna, it's flavorful, and uh, we, we think it's gonna be delicious. And we'd like to see you try it. We hope you'll try it at home. A little white wine, of course, will round out all these wonderful flavors. So with that, abiento. La douceur du temps nous fait des avances. Partez, mes enfants, vous avez 20 ans. Partez en vacances. Vous verrez agile sur l'onde tranquille. Les barques dociles au bras des amants. De fraîches guinguettes, des filles bien faites.